the World Health Organization estimates that over 121 million people worldwide suffer from some form of depression. It is one of the world's most common mental disorders, and with 30% of sufferers attempting suicide, I'm not lying when I say that depression kills. Creative types have been proven to be the group most affected by this disorder, with people such as Ernest Hemingway, Virginia Woolf, and Michelangelo all being affected. Is this due to nothing but their unique thought processes, or could it be something else? It has been proven that as a species, human beings are drawn to those with whom we share ideas and have similar thoughts with. Studies have shown this time and time again, such as in Newcomb's 1956 experiment, where he found that men liked their housemates more if they had similar attitudes about sex, family, and politics. This is because people enjoy feeling validated, are impressed when others have the same taste as them, and find it easier to talk to those with the same interests. So, it is reasonable to assume that if a person is unable to find someone with a similar thought process to them, they will become lonely and may end up suffering from depression. Creative people have the most unique of minds, and therefore we can draw the conclusion that, as cliched as it sounds, no one understands them. However, Newcomb's study was flawed in many ways. Its gender bias and small sample size of 17 means that it can't be generalized to the entire population, and it fails to explore deeper levels of thought. This means that whilst people may be more agreeable when they have the same views, it doesn't mean those with different views are shunned from society. So, what does cause such levels of depression in the more creative half of the population? Akinola and Mendez in 2008 conducted a study that looked at the role of rejection when it comes to creativity. Participants were given either positive, negative, or no feedback on a speaking task and then asked to produce a collage. The participants exposed to negative feedback or rejection produced more creative collages than participants in the control group and the positive feedback group. This suggests that societal rejection, a particular symptom of depression, may be responsible for increased creativity. In other words, depression causes creativity instead of creativity causing depression. It is crucial to think critically when it comes to the art in order to reach your optimum capability. But the problem with overthinking is that self-doubt often follows, and with that, lower confidence, making it easier to slip into depression. Perhaps the cause of such mental issues with creative people is that they get too used to judging their own work and slowly begin judging themselves. I know that I am guilty of doing this as it becomes hard to distinguish between the two. Especially when you put so much heart into what you're working on, it almost becomes a part of you. The role of an artist is to always dance on that dangerous line, and for many, the dance is too hard to keep up. Do you suffer from the same struggles? Which theory do you support? Depression causing creativity or creativity causing depression?